All right, we'll do this one hand at a time, and I'm gonna start with the right hand. That's the easier hand of the two, and the melody in the right hand just goes. Just keeps repeating that. So the way that we do that is we're gonna have our right hand in E position, an octave above middle C, and then two keys higher, and that's our uh, treble E position is what you would call it. And all of the fingers are gonna be on the white keys with the exception of our second finger. The second finger goes on F sharp, so we have first finger on E, second finger on F sharp, third finger on G, fourth finger on A, and fifth finger on B. So within that fingering, the way that we play the right hand part to this is we start with our second finger, then we go down to our first finger, back to the second finger. So those are the first three notes. Okay, now there's three other notes that we have to add uh, after that. So then our third finger on G, and then our uh, fifth finger on B, and then back to our third finger. So, so if we put that together, we have Okay, so it speeds up. Then we do it again, we do the beginning part again. And then the second time through, instead of going G, B, G, we do G, A, G. So we change the top note from B to A. So instead of three, five, three, we have three, four, three. So that would be. That's the second time through. So the first time through, uh, all together, it's then the second time through is so it's almost the exact same thing. It's just switching that fifth finger to the fourth finger the second time through. So Okay, so the left hand part is definitely the harder part of the two. And we're gonna start on middle C with our fourth finger. And then we put our second finger on E. So we're playing these two notes together at the same time. Okay, and now because of like the way that this fingering lines up, I kinda have to, uh, I have to do it like more up here towards the upper part of the keys, just because of the way the next chord lines up. Once you play it, you'll see what I mean, where it's kinda hard to get it as smooth down here as opposed to doing it higher up on the keys. So after we do that, our fourth finger on C and our second finger on E, then we are gonna switch over. We're gonna put our third finger on D and our first finger on F sharp. So we're just alternating between those two chords. That's a little weird. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to. It's a little awkward at first, but like I said, if you kind of reach higher up on the key, it makes it a little bit easier to get it cleaner. So now the way that we combine those two hands together is once again, in our right hand, we start with our second finger on the F sharp. So if we play those together, we have, and then our right hand, we go to our thumb on E and our left hand, we do the D and F sharp. So those are the first two uh, notes together. the first chord again, the F sharp in the right hand, and then the C and E in the left hand. So now we have. Now, left hand goes back to D and F sharp, and our right hand does that G, B, G thing, and we just play the chord on the first G. So together now we have. Okay, then you do the first three chords the same. This last one now, it starts the same with the third finger in the right hand and then three and one in the left hand, but instead of going up to B, we go to A. Remember, we have that one change in the right hand. And that's it, it just keeps repeating between those two.